cow! Ladies and gentlemen, it's finally happening! We are getting a Sith Eternal Lifter here in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and my gosh, it's gonna be the one and only Darth Bane! I was not expecting this character to drop on us today. Come on over. Take a look at this, will ya? Uh, first off, I'm calling out CG. Literally five minutes after I posted my Endor raid guide, they decided to drop this on us here. Coincidence? I think not. Well, not many people care about it. There's a card in the top right hand corner to my Endor Spinner Bike Pursuit raid guide. But I know most of you guys are just gonna hit auto, but it's there if you want it. Let's talk about this right here. My gosh, I was not expecting this. Darth Bane, famously known for creating the rule of two inside of Star Wars, is coming to Galaxy as yes. the next con question. This is a really weird announcement to put out today because we're still another, you know, week and a half or so from unlocking Gideon, and they don't normally announce the character until like the week or so after before we get into to the next conquest here. I guess they kind of gave us an early tease of uh, Gideon as well. But nonetheless, we're getting Darth Bane and it's supposed to be based off of the appearance we saw in the Clone Wars. So the cartoon appearance, which is what we have right here. Still kind of cool. I was definitely, when I first read about this, I was hoping this was going to be the look. I digress. It's great having Darth Bane show up here. Let's take a look at it. Uh, again, kind of caught us all off guard. It's Friday, you know, and all that jazz, and we're still waiting to uh, finish our current Conquest unit. So basically, we're probably going to get the kit reveal in about, I'd say, two-ish weeks or so from this upcoming Tuesday. So keep your eyes peeled, but they want to get us excited. I'm all for it, my, my friends. Checking this out here. A word from our lead designer on Darth Bane, CG underscore mouse. Darth Bane is the next Conquest character coming to Galaxy of Heroes. Can we just pause there real quick? <laughs> this has basically been like a whole year of like dark side Conquest units. And the first one going to 2024 is also going to be a dark side Conquest unit. They did leave a little note down here that the Conquest unit after Darth Bane, it's confirmed to be a light side and it's also gonna be a character, so not a ship. So. Let your speculation go wild as to what you guys think that might be. That might be fun to talk about another time. But uh, the, so the lead designer on him, CG Mouse, they're thrilled to walk us through some of the highlights today. With his addition to the game, we really want to embrace the Sith philosophy of strength through force, which is demonstrated throughout the entirety of his kit, but is especially apparent in both his leader, only the strong survive, and his unique ability, Rule of Two, which basically is gonna be i think what they're trying to do is to sit the eternal if there's they talk about here coupled with his grand arena all the cross thank goodness it wasn't territory wars territory battles i would have been so sad i know that's just how i am i i oh makes me so happy i don't i don't want bane to be a freaking trench bane is capable of challenging swh's heaviest hitters including galactic legends now I don't know if this is a statement without Sith Eternal, because it sounds like it's going to be kind of like, you know, I mean, Maul and Commander Town, they both have uses outside of their Galactic Legend counterparts, but if they're saying that this is going to still be a heavy hitter without Sith Eternal versus Galactic Legends, that is a big uh, promise right there. So we have to wait and see. So they're going to break down his leader ability, which is supposed to take advantage of all your leftover Sith. This is going to be fantastic. And they talk about the Sith Eternal aspect here. With this leader, Darth Bane can assemble a band of misfits sit with sufficient relic investment. Wonder what that means. What we thought, what, relic nine, eight, seven? I don't know. I mean, here's the thing you guys have a lot of Sith just laying around. You have Darth Sidious, you got Darth Maul. You, I mean, Dooku, I guess you could use a trench and stuff like that, but you, you guys know you have Sith laying around. So, I mean, I'm really curious to see what type of Sith lineup they're talking about and how much relic. Uh, but they're going to turn them into a competitive fighting force. I mean, wouldn't they, again, I'm just throwing it out there, but what if, like, <laughs> what if Bane with Maul, Sidious, Dooku, and, and I don't know, Sith Assassin, Marauder, something like that can, like, take on uh, <laughs> Jedi Master Kenobi or something? That would be quite an odd day to see. This is a major utility point for Bane as it will allow many Sith in the game to be potential options for his lineup. An exciting prospect for Sith heavy rosters and unsettling for your opponent. Now, check this out. Additionally, with his unique, he can be paired alongside one other powerful Sith to fully embrace the iconic rule of two. With a lengthy list of busts, man, we're gonna make sure we get our Sogology degrees up and running, because it's probably gonna be like 10 paragraphs 
with a lengthy list of buffs and immunities for both Bane and his ally. Sith Eternal Emperor is going to have a special call out within Bane's kit. And the duo are quite the force to be reckoned with. Watt leaves the chat. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Uh, let's finish reading this real quick. Although Darth Bane has multiple iterations and visions throughout Star Wars, we embrace his iconic look and appearance from the Clone Wars cartoon, which we just showed right over here. And it was a huge creative opportunity to make sure the power of the Sith of Legends lived up to his terrifying reputation. And it's our pleasure to bring him to you on the hollow tables. Yeah, I mean, I'm wondering, maybe Lucasfilm wanted the canon appearance, not the legend appearance. Yeah, I, 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 I can almost guarantee you Lucasfilm has the ultimate say so what the look of the characters are going to be. And they, they seem to kind of air more on the canon side of appearances. And then uh, we already saw this as well. Uh, they're going to be make, making the next Conquest unit a character that is light side. So a lot to kind of absorb right now. Let's go hop on over to the game just to kind of just look at what we're kind of sitting on right now. So if we hop on over, Sith Eternal. The Watt Timbor is an oddity, but also they mentioned Watt. How does this fit the armor? Because armor and Watt, they, they kind of go hand in hand here when it comes to Sith Eternal or, you know, Spring of Kyle Ran in a variety of other fun ways. You can utilize the two of them. Number one, if we can finally feel the comfort, I don't need Watt to be on Sith Eternal. Maybe you can feel comfortable putting it on, I don't know, just for the sake of the argument, Trench or some other lineups that might utilize him. That's going to be a massive win right there. Uh, what I'm wondering, though, is Darth Bane paired with Sith Eternal. Are we saying like those are going to be the only two that's going to go up against these Galactic Legends, the Rays, the Jedi Master, Kenobis? I mean, uh, right now, Sith Eternal, you can beat most Galactic Legends on offense. He's not amazing on defense. Uh, I mean, he's he's all... He, He's okay, especially with Savage and whatnot, but you know, he's mostly used as an offensive type of tool inside the game. So curious to see what this dynamic's gonna look like between the Sith Eternal and Darth Bane. Uh, and, but when we look at the other aspect here, when they're talking about all of these characters that you can potentially utilize here, I mean, look, we have Darth Maul, Sidious. They are not really being used in much of a circumstance. Oh my gosh, imagine Savage. I mean, Savage is already being used in so many spaces out there. You got things like Count Dooku. For example, there's definitely some Sith that are laying around that aren't getting a ton of top tier usage. I feel like it's almost, you know, I, I can't, I didn't read the kit. I don't know nothing about it, but it feels like it's almost a guarantee. They want this character and Darth Maul to be utilized and maybe even force you to get them up to even higher relic levels than what you have. So, I mean, I'm seeing this as a win on most fronts here. It's going to be a character, like think of Maul, that's going to utilize leftover sith maul utilized mandalorians and allegedly beat some top teams including galactic legends and on top of that it's going to be a, a lifter unit for sith eternal and i think this is a lot when people were asked for a lifter unit this was kind of i think the top one for a lot of people when it came to the sith eternal i just never thought they'd actually pull out the darth bane card and finally bring him the galaxy of heroes so i'm excited i'm excited we haven't even unlocked the best car kidding yet we're still grinding we're in that last conquest cycle before we finally get Beskar Moff Gideon into our hands. And this is, we, we haven't even had a chance to really like fully love this character and see what he's going to bring for the Mandalorians, for Lord Vader, and the variety of other stuff we already had early theory crafting for. And they're already dropping this Darth Bane bomb on us several weeks in advance. So January is when the grind looks like it's going to probably, uh, actually, early to late December is when the grind's going to start for Darth Bane and unlocking it sometime in the early part of 2024 i mean guys let me know how you're feeling i know a lot of you guys are to the moon. i am beyond excited to see this uh for the most part the conquest stuff has been really fun this year malikos has been a lot of fun i'm sure gideon's gonna be a lot of fun and you know, we had a couple of ships earlier on this year and whatnot for the most part conquest units have been pretty solid this year let's hope we keep this trend going of gideon I'd be very surprised if they dropped the ball with Darth Bane on us. We'll have to wait and see. But until then, leave that like, comment down below, subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And I hope you're able to say how it's great to be in the Sith Empire today.